Hi, I'm Stephen with AlbertaUrbanGarden.ca. Spring is fast approaching and it's time here in Zone 3 to start seedlings indoors. Today I'm going to go through the different phases of seed starting that I do in preparation of the growing season. There are a few advantages to starting your own seedlings. The cost is often lower than purchasing seedlings from a greenhouse, especially if you take advantage of a natural light source. You can also select more unique varieties that are just not available anywhere else. Finally, it helps me extend my gardening season by allowing me to enjoy some greenery indoors while I wait for spring outside. In order to get started, you will need a few things, including a light source, so a south or southwest facing window, or appropriate grow lights, some potting soil. I usually do a one part soilless potting mix to one part compost mixture. Recycled containers are my preference. Water, thyme, and seeds. Optionally, some trays for bottom watering and a seed starting mat to keep the heat or the temperature of the soil higher. It is important to know the last expected frost date in your area. A quick Google search usually helps you find this out. What I do with this date is I count back in weeks to figure out when I need to start my plants. You can usually find out how far in advance you need to start your seedlings by taking a look at gardening books, online, or even the back of seed packages. For the purposes of today's video, I'm going to address the timing as it relates to Zone 3. The vast majority of the crops that I start ahead of time are planted in four main waves. Before the end of February, early April, early May, and late May. I'm going to name a number of varieties that I'm going to be planting and if you're looking for seed sources, take a look at the description below. Over the last few years, I've been looking for crops that produce well in my garden. Once I find them, I generally keep growing them to ensure the best possible harvests. That said, a number of the new varieties I'm going to grow this year have been inspired by my son. I want to continue to inspire him to want to garden and know where his food comes from. An effective way that I have found to do this is allow him to pick the varieties he wants to grow so that he can get excited to track the progress. Prior to the end of February planting, there are a few crops that I grow all winter, such as herbs and leafy greens, but I usually finish them off as I start planting my summer crops. In advance of the end of February, I start my peppers. I usually start them when I first get the itch to grow something during the winter. As they grow, I will use a pruning method to shape and develop a pepper bush. Anecdotally, in my cooler zone garden, this allows me to produce heavier crops of peppers. This year, I will be growing a wide variety of peppers. Some of them have always done well for me, including the Super Hungarian Hot and Jimmy Nardello. I want to see if there are other varieties that I like and do well in zone three. So I have a longer list of new pepper varieties than normal. I will be trying Italian Peppercini, Banana Pepper, Violet Sparkle Pepper, and Mira Sweet Pepper. It is also a good time to start perennials from seeds such as the goji berries that I have and the hot pink berry strawberries that I'll be growing in hanging baskets this year. The next wave of plantings is in early April, six to eight weeks before your expected last frost. And I generally focus on my summer crops such as tomatoes. Last year, I found a few new varieties that I'll be growing again this year, including the Sun Sugar Cherry Tomato, Pink Brandywine, and Sweet Million. To this list of tomatoes, I will be adding new ones based on your feedback over the years, including the Sun Gold Select, Pink Vernissage, and Taxi Organic Yellow Tomato. In the beginning of April, it is also a great time to start your leafy greens such as kale, Swiss chard, collards, sorrel, and herbs that you plan to grow outdoors. In early May, two to three weeks before the last frost, I will start both my melons and my squash. I have tried to direct sow them in the past with limited success. The years where I've had the best results were when I started them a few weeks earlier and transplanted them into the garden. Often what I'll do is I'll start them outside, taking advantage of the natural sunlight and eliminating the need to harden them off. Unfortunately, in early May, Nighttime temperatures often drop below the freezing mark, meaning I usually take them into the garage overnight to keep them nice and warm. Last year, I had pretty good success with Minnesota Midget. And this year, I'm contemplating one of the following. Either the Collective Farm Woman Melon, the Katana Watermelon, the Early Moonbeam Watermelon, or the Rich Sweetness 132 Melon. As for squash, I will be returning to a number of my family's favorites, including the Large Dutch Yellow Cucumber, Dragon's Egg Cucumber, Patio Star Zucchini, and Pinnacle Spaghetti Squash. In later May, two to three weeks after the last frost, I will continue to start seedlings either inside the house or outdoors. I'm going to start plants that I can plant in succession such as peas and dragon tongue beans. I usually plant the crops in my garden in a high density to take advantage of every little bit of soil that I have. 
Starting my succession plants outside of the garden will help me get them established while not allowing them to get choked out. This may also help me deal with some issues that I've had in the last year with slugs eating my seedlings. If the plants are large enough when they get to the garden, the damage the slugs do likely won't harm my production. Once I add the seedlings that I've started to the direct sow crops and the perennials I already have in the garden, I'm setting the stage for a large bounty of organic food for my family in 2017. If you'd like to learn more about indoor growing, including which grow lights to buy, there's a playlist on screen now, and make sure to subscribe to catch all future episodes.